Hey guys, how you doing? As you probably have known, um, I'm Big Guy Z. You probably know me from um, the O&M forums, but um, kind of taking a break from that, kind of giving it out for Lent, amongst other things. Um, this is just me trying out something new. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? Big guys, he up in here once again. And to think I've been up in here for like over 10 years is just crazy to me. I just thought it'd be cool to do a little video of um, how YouTube has changed for me over the past 10 years. Now I won't go to too much detail, detail about how and why I started doing YouTube, because I've already done a video for that like many years ago. I'll uh, post a link to that video in the description. When YouTube first became a thing, it had a tagline that said, broadcast yourself. And for the most part, that's what it was exactly like. User generated content that was separate from their mainstream media. Now it's most definitely a part of mainstream media, especially with social media as well. Movie stars have their own channels, and there are even kids out there who aspire to be content creators when they grow up. My first videos on YouTube were, were very modest. Um, I had a HD webcam, which was anything but, and a very cheap microphone. Um, the videos I was doing were just videos based on UK shows like uh, The X Factor, The Apprentice, and just other news stories that interested me. Then I started to review the Spooks books, as well as a few other books which sort of just happened. And I'm also happy that I've updated the look and feel of my videos over the years, but a fellow YouTuber once told me that is, um, the thing is not to get too caught up with, make sure you have the latest and greatest equipment and camera and things like that. So for now, I'm gonna just keep the setup just, just how it is. With the other content I was watching, I used to watch YouTubers like uh, Ace of the Comic, uh, Michael Buckley with his What the Buck show, and Natalie Tran and, his, uh, and her community channel, rather. Yeah, Natalie Tran was by YouTube inspiration, definitely. Um, I also used to watch um, Ray William Johnson and his uh, Equals Free web series and his um, Breaking NYC vlog. I used to watch that, like, religiously. You know, it's kind of funny. All those YouTubers that I've mentioned, um, plus many others, aren't really around anymore. Except for Ray William Johnson's recent return with his amazing, uplifting, superhuman web series. Like seriously, if you have not checked it out yet, I strongly suggest you do after this video. As for the website itself, YouTube has greatly improved over the past decade. I mean, sure, it did kind of suck when like 90% of YouTube channels got demonetized, mine included, but now you can schedule your uploads, you can add interactive end screens, and you get access to a whole library of royalty free music they can add to your videos. A feature that I definitely use, as you can uh, probably hear right now. So, over 10 years have gone. What's next for Big Guy Z, I hear you ask? Well, 
Now I know this probably won't happen anytime soon, but I would love to do a collab with someone. You know, a fellow YouTuber who does videos similar to mine. All completely different, <laughs> it wouldn't matter that much. Game streaming looks like a lot of fun. I would love to do that, but I just don't know how. I mean, there is one YouTuber slash streamer called Matt's Million Dude who does this sort of thing on this channel. Uh, he mainly specializes in fighting videos, but I would, um, sorry, fighting videos? Fighting game videos. But I would love to do something like that. I just, yeah, that can be, yeah, I would love to do that. Seems like a lot of fun. Now, I know there'd be some viewers out there watching this video and thinking, wait, you've been doing this for over 10 years and you only got 600 subscribers? Okay, fair enough, I admit, when I first started doing this, I was drawn by the idea of being internet famous. But as soon as reality hit that that wasn't gonna immediately happen, I still continue to do this because I realized that I just love the whole process of it thinking about an idea for a video, or coming up with an idea for a video, writing it, filming it, sticking it all together and just putting it out there. And if you as a viewer love it, then that's great. If not, then that's okay too. So, whether you have been a subscriber since day one, or you have just watched one of my videos for the first time, I would just like to say thank you. It's been you guys that have been watching, commenting, liking, give me support that's kept me going. I just hope there'll be many, many more videos to come in the near future, but until then. Later.